Now that Memorial Day has passed, it's officially summer and time to show some love to your outdoor spaces. Today we've got Karen Post, interior designer with Home Frosting. She is going to share five simple steps to transform your outdoors without spending a fortune. An important point, Karen. It's very important. You don't have to go out and buy everything new. You've got to pay attention to the details, the new trends, and go from blah to beautiful. I like that. All right, so let's show people how to do that using their existing pieces. Number one, you say design your space. So think about the purpose of what you're doing there. Are you dining? Are you drinking and partying? Or are you just having a conversation or reading a book or taking a nap? But what are you doing in the space is where it all starts. Okay, so that's number one. Let's say you decide on a dining area. How do you take your existing pieces and kind of frost them, as you like to say? Well, your table and your chairs, which you have, probably are more generic than you think. So you can add table runners, placemats. Um, I've added a succulent uh, centerpiece, which succulents are great because they don't die, but they look awesome. Uh, so that's where you start. Very inviting. All right, number two, you say, think about privacy. How do you go about addressing privacy? Well, you know, a lot of times you've got neighbors and they're not invited to your party. So consider doing screens. They make screens, uh, wood, wicker, or trellises. And now they make trellises that are dressed with greenery that are UV coated so they're going to withstand the weather they and the fade. sun. They won't. They look great. They're not expensive. And again, special shout out to Lowe's who helped us pull together some of these details. Those are beautiful. Aren't they? They're really, really cool. And they're going to make the space vibrant. I mean, with that green. It's oh yeah, gonna... it, the, the greenery, I, I love green with everything. Same, all right, so number three, tip number three, you say set the mood. Set the mood, so do this with lighting. So whether you're doing it with candles, whether you've got electricity and you do string lighting, and now there are so many cool solar powered lighting options where you can put spots on trees. So you really create a lot of theater to your space and there's all different options to do that. Yeah, I don't think people realize how far we've come and they'll be surprised by the number of options, right? Oh, it's, they're inexpensive and they're just so cool. All right, tip number four, keep unwanted guests away. I think that's important because people don't spend as much time as they would like outdoors because of all the bugs. Yeah, mosquitoes, e everything. So there's so many natural solutions from candles to incense to zappers that are solar powered, don't need electricity, and they give off a flame looking effect that really adds to your mood. It's so cool. And if you're concerned about your little pet coming up and mm -hmm. licking your legs, most of the natural solutions are pet friendly and they can lick away. So they're natural and they're beautiful. I mean, yes. they're just very, very pretty. All right, last but not least, and this is a big one, because money matters, you say protect your investments. Yeah, so you've done all this. Keep it out of the direct sun. You can take furnishing pieces that are not even intended for outdoor and seal them with polyurethane and you've got outdoor really? furniture. Is that yeah. what you've done with the shelf? Yes, for we did. Yep, you just seal it and and this is a really cool just shelf against a wall suddenly you have a bar. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah, and then, you know, you can scotch guard your cushions so that they'll be waterproof. They'll just look fresh. And so small investments are just going to give you a lot more mileage in your beautiful new outdoor space. Bravo, Karen, thank you. These are all great. Oh, my pleasure. Always good to have you. And for more great decor tips, you can visit Karen's blog. It's homefrosting.com.